Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we focus on progression and not perfection. We're not here to be perfect, but we are taking one step at a time to make some progress. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. This really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It does not mean that I get paid by any means when you like a video. It just means that it'll help me reach more people and more people will come and watch the video. So let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a weekly workout schedule. I wish that I would have came across this a long time ago when I first started my fitness journey. I'm going to go over some of the questions that I want you to ask yourself when it comes to making a plan. Make sure that you are honest. This is for you, so it's not like you need to lie to yourself. Okay, so question number one. How many days can you work out? Maybe you want to work out six days, but maybe you're a busy college student, you're a mom, you work two jobs and you don't have six days, then don't put six days down. And if you can only go to the gym or work out at home two days a week, then that's what you have to put down. We have to be realistic so that we're sticking to a schedule and we're not giving up. Second question that I want you to ask yourself is how much time can you dedicate within a day? Same thing as the last question that I wanted you to ask yourself. When it comes to time, do you have 30 minutes, 45 minutes? Do you have an hour and a half? How much do you actually have? Not what you want to work out, but maybe a combination of how much you want to work out with how much time you actually have allotted. Be honest. The third question that I want you to ask yourself is what resources do you have? Do you have access to a gym? Maybe you can't afford a gym membership and you're working out at home. Totally fine. You do not need a gym to be fit. If you are working at home, do you have resistant bands? Do you have kettlebells, dumbbells? These are the things that I need you to think about. Even if you do have a gym membership, what does your gym have? Think about that. Go to the gym, analyze what machines are available to you so that you can create a plan that's sustainable and achievable. The last thing that I want you to ask yourself, I know it sounds kind of silly, but I love putting it in there, is ask yourself what workouts do you absolutely love and what workouts you hate. For me, I'll give you an example. I absolutely hate burpees. When you tell me to do a burpee, I'm probably gonna roll my eyes and probably take a bathroom break and I'm not gonna do it. Now, if I see a deadlift in there, I'm like, yes, 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 I get it, because I like deadlifts. So put workouts in there that are gonna motivate you, that are gonna wanna make you do that workout. Put them in there. Now we are done asking the questions. I want to give you some tips when it comes to creating your plan. So things that I want you to keep in mind, right? So first one, keep it simple, girlfriend. I know you see IG, you see all these crazy creative workouts, and you're like, oh my God, that's what I wanna try. Just let's just step it back we'll go and start with our compound movements the exercises that are working out more than one muscle group what are some examples your squats your deadlifts your shoulder press those type of workouts okay so keep it simple use compound exercises it's gonna go a long way the biggest thing that i'm gonna say it twice just for you i'm gonna say it twice just so that we are on the same page Focus on form, not on weight. Focus on form, not on weight, okay? You might go to the gym with your friend and she or he might be lifting more than you, but I need you to focus on form. Form is more important. I don't want you showing off to your buddy or whatever. Make sure you got that form right. Nobody's watching you at the gym, so just focus on what you're doing. If you're thinking like, wow, I'm lifting this five pound, you know, they're gonna think that I'm so weak, like I, I, you know, who cares? Nobody's watching you. Do your own workout, what benefits you and what's not gonna injure you. Form over weights. Get that in your head. One of the other things that I big advocate about is incorporating your warm-ups. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, five minute warm-up we're good we gotta stretch those muscles we gotta tell them hey hey wake up wake up i'm you know we're about to do a workout because you like to be woken up you don't want just somebody to just pull you out of bed and boom you know you fall down because you're not even ready to take the first step same thing with your muscles give them that nice the wake up call and during the work make sure you're incorporating stability workouts also those are working on your ankles and they're going to avoid injury future injuries and lastly your cool down make sure you're not skipping your cool down i hear this all the time sometimes they're like well i only had 50 minute workout okay so then make your actual workout 40 minutes and then five minutes for a warm-up five minutes for cool down boom we fix that we solved that problem you see not that hard but we can't skip them they're so important 
or warm-ups are kind of like you're putting your primer before your foundation yeah and then our cool down we're, we're setting that spray right because nobody wants our makeup to be running so we'll just put it in that analogy like that now we're gonna talk about the actual planning and making the workout first thing that I want you to think about I would say maybe 45 minutes to an hour is plenty if you have even less time that's fine Five minutes is better than nothing. If you can only go on a 10 minute walk, then girl, you got it. Go on that 10 minute walk. It's better than nothing. How often should you work out? I would say Monday, Wednesday, Friday would be the best workout split that I would give for beginners because that allows plenty of recovery time. And what do we do at the gym? We break and rip our muscles apart. So we need time to recover. Don't go crazy saying you wanna work out six times a day, seven times a week. No, 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 no. Well, for my beginners, just keep this in mind, okay? You're gonna start with three sets of 12 reps. This is a good starting point because you're not lifting heavy weights or really just focusing on form. Now, when you advance a little bit more, you're gonna learn and you, your body's gonna adjust. You're gonna understand what your body needs or you're probably gonna move to four sets of maybe five to eight reps. Why? Because you'll be lifting heavier weight. For my beginners, you're lifting lighter weights so we can do those 10, 12 repetitions because it's lightweight. How much should you be resting? What's the rest time? Oh, I was asking this question nobody really gave me an answer here's the answer how much should you be resting for my beginners I want you to shoot for 45 seconds to 60 second rest okay so how does this plan look we have talked about questions tips and all this great stuff let's get to the plan right that's why you guys are here to learn how to make your own plan the way that it would look is you would do your Monday Wednesday Friday breakdown and what we're trying to do is hit all the muscle groups we're trying to make sure that we hit all the muscle groups so this is how I like to do it there's so many ways to do it out I'm just letting you know what has worked for me what I like to do for my clients and what I've seen work but there's plenty of other ways to do it so on Monday let's say we are hitting hamstrings and we're hitting shoulders on Wednesday we hit glutes and we hit back on Friday we hit quads chest triceps biceps I like to make sure that on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays I'm hitting upper body and lower body and the way that I like to schedule my workouts is let's say on Monday I like to do one upper body lower body upper body lower body upper body lower body how is it gonna look so I'm gonna give you an example of how I would schedule a Monday workout which is a hamstring and shoulder so for Mondays I would do three hamstring workouts and I would do three shoulder workouts putting me at six total it would go something like this the first workout would be a hamstring workout so a Romanian deadlift three sets of 12 the second one would be lateral raises it would be a shoulder workout three sets of 12 the third one would be a stiff straight deadlift three sets of 12 as you can see there's a pattern they're all three sets of 12 because this is a made for a beginner workout plan and then your fourth one would be a shoulder one which would be a shoulder press three sets of 12 your next one would be good mornings hitting the hamstrings three sets of 12 your next one would be shoulders reverse flies three sets of 12. Now you can change all of this you can change the volume the tempo the rest time all of these things are going to affect your workout you kind of have to see what works for you if you feel like wow this workout wasn't really quite cutting it maybe do four sets of that type of workout what i like to do is for my romanian deadlifts those compound movements i do like to make those four sets instead of three but i don't want to confuse you so much i'm just giving you what i would give a beginner now that's how i like to do it every day i do like to add ab workouts so probably let's say monday i get done with my hamstring and shoulder workouts the last two exercises will probably be an ab workout keep it simple if you want to do setups put some setups in there some planks make sure you're working on your core with the abs they're just there to strengthen your core they're not there to give you abs the, most of the time you can get abs and get that v-shape and all that stuff during your compound movements during your strength training make sure you're engaging your core that's what's gonna actually give you that shape of your abs the ab workouts are there to strengthen your core which we do need when we do squats we do need a strong, a strong core so there's so much more to it so don't think that ab workouts don't really do anything they do 
plenty. I just don't want you to think that a thousand sit-ups is gonna give you that Superman six-pack. Okay. For weight loss, because I know a lot of people work here, for weight loss plan, make sure that you're adding hate training. That's gonna be so important. If you have time, if you have time, make it a five-day workout split. You could do your Monday, Wednesday, Friday strength training, and then your Tuesdays and Thursdays, you could do cardio. By cardio, I mean you could take boxing classes, you can do sprints, you can do jump rope, you can do jumping jacks, jump squats, make it fun. Exercise should be about fun. Now, is it something that we always want to do? No, but we're adults and we understand that we have to do things that we don't always want to do them. You know, discipline is doing things even when you don't want to. I'm more about making sure that fitness fits into my life in a peaceful way. I don't like to stress and that's what fitness should be about. It should be relaxing. It should be about something that you do for your health because you enjoy it. Walking does so much for you. So much for your heart, so much for your inner peace, so try it. Don't feel like, oh man, I don't have time for the gym, I don't have time for this, okay? Well, I know you have time for Netflix. Most of you have time for Netflix. So instead of doing that Netflix, make, you know, go on that walk or take that Netflix with you, put it on the treadmill and watch Netflix as you get those steps in, okay? Do that grandma walk, get those steps in. Don't give me any excuses because I know you can do it. There's time, we will make time. It's all about what you prioritize. Now, if any of this stuff was confusing to you, definitely leave me a comment, message me through Instagram. And if you still feel like, wow, that was great tips, but I just really want professional help, then visit BrittanyFord.com and I'm more than happy to create a custom plan for you through an app. It's excellent, I actually really like it. I get to communicate with my clients via the app. I get to message them, I get to see their, if they're tracking their calories, I'm like spying on them. We make sure that we add prog progress pictures, workouts, they have videos. It shows you the video, it shows you rest times. I mean, the app is amazing. So if you feel like you just need professional help, Contact me, like I said, through Brittany4.com and I will get you squared away. I will make sure that you have the best program out there with all the love that I can give. Thank you guys so much for watching.